if we kick off um, trying to answer the question, why is it more acceptable to have online meetings? Well, quite simply, online meetings have been happening for a long, long time. However, in recent times, lockdown has forced a lot of people and organizations to use online and remote meetings more extensively every day at work and at home. So therefore, there's been a sustained behavioral shift. And speaking as a psychologist, what we find is that we're having more and more meetings and a lot of people say to change habits, you need 21 days of change. Well, I would consider for sustained change in behavior, it's closer to 100 and we're there. So a lot of online meetings are now considered normal behavior, whereas before some people might have said, well, I'd rather go and see them or I'd rather talk to them face to face. So online meetings have now been adopted as a necessity given lockdown and they're now part of our sustained change in behavior. The other reason why online meetings are more acceptable is that the technology has been adopted by a lot of people. Now, a lot of this technology has existed for quite a while. Um, however, people have increased their usage of it and they're getting much more involved in it right through from online meeting uh, software and tech tools right through to deploying sales enablement software, which can help to increase business development and customer engagement and account management and people are a lot more familiar with adopting the technology and the kit and the equipment, which is great. The new normal means that it's become more acceptable uh, to have remote meetings. And I'm gonna ask you today to consider that this, this virtual sales enablement tool it should now become part of your standard selling toolkit. For me, the key success factors in better and best online meetings is first of all, the people. A lot of people race to adopt technology and software, and that is fantastic in a parallel track. However, for me, it's all about the people, the staff, the customers, your suppliers, and encouraging people to adopt online meetings as a way of doing business with you. I have clients who are conducting online meetings with their suppliers, their distributors, their agents and export markets. And what the key thing is that I find is regardless of the technology platform that's used, Skilling people up to feel confident about online meetings is terribly important. So it starts with the people. The second thing for me is the process. Adopting some online rules of engagement as a standard way of doing business or communicating with each other is terribly, terribly important. And implementing those processes takes time. The technology that exists to do this is myriad and it's out there tech tools and various packages to help you with your online meetings are there and available. Skills for me is terribly important. So therefore the coaching in terms of methodologies for online meetings and some straightforward and simple rules, which once deployed can make a remarkable difference to how you're seen by your customers, by your suppliers and people that you interact with online. The new normal culture means that I promote people to reject the slide back to the old ways so that if someone said, I'm just going to jump in the car and go and see them, or let's just meet one-to-one -one and have a chat, I'm saying to people that may be appropriate for sure. However, what I'm encouraging people to do is to reject the idea of sliding back to the old ways and saying we do very little by way of online meetings. What I'm saying is it's great to have the choice. We look forward to being able to meet one-to-one, -one, but also I'm encouraging people to say, adopt online meetings as part of the culture of your business. And to do that, these key success factors of people, process, technology, and skills have to be deployed. 